What's going on, people? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to 20 Degrees in LA. We talk about fragrance. We talk about fashion. We do it with love. We do it with passion, man. I'm your host, Var, and today we are talking about the House of Argos, Argos Fragrances. Um, I have three fragrances here, you guys. One of their best-selling fragrances in Tron for Bacchus, Danae, and also uh, Adonis Awaken. So we're going to get into the presentation, man, get into the bottles, get into the fragrance. Hope you guys enjoy this video. First things first, you guys, I do have a brand new bottle. Um, this is going to be Tron for Bacchus that we're talking about first. So it came in this packaging right here, okay? They also sent me over a sample. So we have Palace, a thing, I believe. And we also have uh, an atomizer as well, you guys. A nice Argos atomizer. See if you guys can see it. Yeah, really, really, really nice, man. Really nice presentation. I like this stuff. But more importantly, man, is this box right here. What's on the inside? So I'm going to open this boy up. Make sure you guys drop your center todays in the comments, man. I hope you guys are having a good time, having a good day. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, middle of the week. Yo, <laughs> this is fire, man. This is fire. So whenever you guys open this up, we got the Triumph of Bacchus on the front. Triumph of Bacchus is on the front right here. This is nice. It kind of wraps around the whole box as well, y'all. Of course, you got your uh, symbolic Ayo Horus right here from the House of Argos. This is nice, man. I, I've, I've always liked um, Argos' presentation style. Um, it's like a story behind it, man. I love it. So getting into the actual fragrance itself. Let's see here. My bad, Joe. I wanted to do it live, a live impression for the first box. The other box is already open, but this one right here, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like whenever you open it up. So trust me, <laughs> it comes wrapped tightly, but yeah. So you open the box up just like this right here. If I can get open, I'm open myself. Cool. Slides out. Hey, so what you're greeted with, you guys, is like a white, hard leather box with the House of Argos on the front side right here. You got Triumph of Bacchus on the bottom. And it opens up like this right here, you guys. So it's magnetic has like these magnetic things on the side but yeah oh that thing fire boy that thing is fire man so on the inside it says argos triumph of bacchus represented by roman god bacchus considered the god of wine making fertility ritual madness theater and religious ecstasy often called elo Eleutherius, meaning the liberator, because his wine, music, and act and ecstatic dance uh, freed mortals from self consciousness and the restraints of society. Bacchus crossed the boundary between life and death, between the known and the unknown. He was one of the 12 Olympians, was a god of chaos and a protector of misfits. Okay, the luxurious scent is shrouded in grandeur and mystery, wildly romantic. And fragrant notes dance beautifully together in chorus. Argos Triumph of Bacchus is an exotic fragrance opening with spicy saffron, royal green apple, and rum notes. Confident and refined tobacco is paired perfectly with amber and vanilla, revealing a powerful, seductive, and almost sinful aphrodisiac. Hey, that's hey, that sounds fire, bro. So let's get into it, man. All right, so the actual bottle, y'all, come on, man. Come on, bro. That's gas. That is some gas, man. Look at the top. You got the eye of Horus, man, with the, the diamond at the top right here. Glass bottle. Got Argos at the bottom. So before I even spray this one on, you guys, the notes we have in this one, the top notes is going to be saffron, white peach, green apple, rum notes, hard notes we have patchouli, jasmine, tonka bean, vetiver, and the base notes we have tobacco amber sandalwood vanilla and musk all right man let's go ahead let's go and see what we're working with now oh man all right let's spray right here
Oh, see. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Man. Woo. My gosh. Yo. That tobacco. That saffron, that vanilla, oh my gosh. That musk, yo. This gets a lot of comparison to uh, Mancera's red tobacco. So for the people that are comparing it to red tobacco, I can see where you guys are coming from. But I must say, man, this has a lot more going on with it. This is much more smoother. Like the, the, the more it's, it's, it's uh, starting to dry down, you guys, it's starting to pick up on that musk, man. Like the tobacco was kind of pungent in the beginning, but that musk is starting to pick up and the sweetness is starting to come out. Man. That's gas, man. That's gas. Let's see. So, and the heart said it had white peach. Let me see. I can smell the white peach and that uh and the green apple working together. I really can. Yeah, those smell good. Patchouli, jasmine, tonka bean. I get tonka bean and I get vetiver. Everything is working so elegantly and smooth, man. Like the tobacco was very pungent in the beginning, but now it's drying down to a man, a very complex scent, y'all. Very complex. Let me read some of you guys' comments real quick. Oh man, yo, the dry down, man. Hidden gems, you are right. The dry down in this fragrance, you guys, is is very, very complex, y'all. Very complex. Okay, getting on to the next fragrance, y'all. I'm gonna place that one in there. So, like I said, you guys, the other fragrances I have opened. Um, the first one was a live unboxing, but the other ones I have opened. Next, we have Adonis Awakens, and it comes in this box right here. So it's like a nice uh red leather box. And man, <laughs> y'all don't want me to read all this, right? Okay, I'm not gonna read all this. But in the top notes, we have bergamot, grapefruit, pink pepper, hard notes, we have Bulgarian rose, sandback jasmine, vanilla, and raspberry. And in the base notes, we have Mysore sandalwood, uh Missouri sandalwood, maybe uh cashmere wood and rose absolute. So listen. Let me get let me tell you guys a little bit about that rose absolute man. <laughs> they did some very potent stuff. Like if you have rose absolute in your fragrance, you guys, uh, it's some gas, man. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Hey, <laughs> it's up there for real. So let's go and see what we're working with. So it comes in this bottle right here. It's like this, it's like this nice blood. My uh my boy Jeremy said, like this nice blood color. <laughs> It is blood, man. It kind of it's kind of reminiscent of like the wine they give you at church. Remember <laughs> the wine with the uh with the uh the biscuits? <laughs> so it opens up. Oh man. So the more I get into my fragrance journey, man, the more I'm becoming a huge fan of rose. Like rose in a fragrance is something that I didn't typically tend to whenever uh whenever I first started collecting fragrances. But now if, if something has rose in it, man, I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. What well, Jeremy said, pressurize. I, hey, I can't sing like him, bro, but it's pressurized, though. Homie. <laughs> Yo. This is amazing, man. This is amazing. That rose in this fragrance, y'all. Let me tell you something, man. This is the definition of rose, manly rose. This isn't a rose that, you know, it's not a very light rose. This is a very gorgeous, beautiful rose, kind of like a dark rose uh, in a sense, okay? So where's the box at? In this fragrance right here, I'm getting the, I'm getting the, I'm getting the pink peppercorn and the grapefruit up top. I'm not getting so much of that bergamot. It's not heavy, you know, it's not heavy, man. But that Bulgarian rose, that jasmine, that vanilla, and that raspberry. 
man this is it's all blending like perfectly together you guys like every single note in this fragrance that rose is so 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 different y'all so different man this is some gas y'all um sandalwood cashmere wood and rose absolute i'm not gonna lie to y'all judging right now off of these two fragrances so far this is different coming from me because you guys know i love tobacco but this is so different i think i'm liking this i'm liking the donna's awakens just a little bit more man just a little bit more for the complexity of what it got going on it's very very different very different so uh anyways man let's hop into the next fragrance so we have danae Donne, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, yo. Excuse me. All right, so opens up like this right here. So in the top notes, we have bergamot again, like on um, the last fragrance. Um, and first and foremost, you guys, I know people say that a lot of these fragrances smell alike in the opening. Maybe it's that bergamot. I don't know. But um, top notes we have bergamot, Sicilian, Sicilian, Sicilian. <laughs> My bad, lemon. In the heart notes, we have pink peppercorn, gayak wood, cedar wood, cashmere wood. In the ba in the base notes, we have citrus, uh, my bad, cistus, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. So, um, right off bat, I can tell you guys that some of these notes are the same notes that are in the last fragrance, which is Adonis Awaken. So that might be the reason why you know uh people get um the same scent profile whenever they smell both of them. Nonetheless, it's gonna hop into the fragrance. Man, that dog on tobacco is so pungent, y'all, and it's so beautiful. Hold on. Okay. Okay. What y'all saying in the comments, man? <laughs> okay. I'm getting that lemon off the top for sure. I'm getting more bergamot in this one than the last one. I will say that. Man. Let's read these notes again. I am getting the peppercorn. I'm getting the wood as well. I'm getting patchouli and I'm getting musk. This one more, this one you can actually wear, you guys, in like the, the spring, like not so hot summertime. That one is good, man. One thing I have heard about Danae, though, is that it does dry down completely, completely different, man. So we might have to have to wait. Also, I might be going a bit nose blind. But yeah, Danae, you guys. So all three of these. No, all four of these and tripping because we do have uh, Palace Athane, a theme, sorry, to open as well and smell. So. This one, you guys, is going to be a atomizer. Let's see what it's talking about. I don't have nothing on this hand. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see here. Hold on now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. I should have got this one. I should have got this one full bottle. I will get this one full bottle. Damn, where the notes at? So on this one, also in the top notes, we have bergamot, grapefruit, pink peppercorn, red berry. In the heart notes, we have peony, uh, hyacinth, violet, and rose petals. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting the rose petals in this fragrance, y'all. And in the base notes, we have iris. Okay. <laughs> hey, man. Quick little story about me. Once upon a time, it was a guy that liked Iris. The end, man. I love Iris. My source, sandalwood, amber, vetiver, patchouli, and vanilla. Okay, yeah. This is a good one, man. I will be picking up a full-size bottle of this as well. Maybe tonight. I don't know. Whenever I decide to buy one. But yeah, you guys, Palace of Thani. So if I'm going to rate all of these in, 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 uh, in order, this is what I'll say right here. Man, y'all, hey, 
that Adonis awake is draws down. When it draws down, it's definitely not a uh definitely not a not a very pungent tobacco fragrance, man. It's hey man, that's beautiful. So this is what I'm gonna say right here. In my number one spot, I'm gonna have to go with uh it's hard to choose, man. It's hard to choose in between Trump Bacchus and Adonis Awakens, but I'm gonna go with Adonis Awakens. No, no, no. Uh, Tron, yeah, Adonis Awakens. Second, close behind. I'm gonna go with Tron for Bacchus, but very, very, very close behind that man. I'm gonna go with Danae. And last but not least, you guys, I will go with uh, not Danae, but um, uh, Palace Athane, the, uh, the Atomizer. And last but not least, you guys, I'm gonna go with Palace Athane. Uh, damn, Danae. <laughs> Here we go, man. Let me just go and show you guys. I'm already tripping. So first, Adonis Awakens. Second, Tron for Bacchus. Third, uh, Palace Athane. And fourth, last but not least, trust me, this is a very beautiful fragrance as well, you guys, but Danae. All of these smell very, 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 very good, y'all. Um, I'm 100% satisfied with my purchase. I do not know if they're still running the uh, sale right now, but if you guys go to uh, argosfragrances.com or House of Argos, uh, whatever it may be, if you guys type in Mom17 inside of the uh, inside of the uh, discount code, you'll actually receive 17% off for Mother's Day. Um, I did pay about $103, um, including tax and shipping for Adonis Awakens. For the other two fragrances, shout out to my boy Jeremy from Alice Colossus. He actually put me on. But um, fragrancebot.ca was running a sale, man. And it was $88 for a, uh, for each bottle, man. So that's how I picked up Danae. And that's also how I picked up uh, Adonis Awakens. Um, I will be picking up uh, Palace Athane if that sale is still available. But nonetheless, man, this is a very, very, very good house, you guys. I 100% uh, recommend this fragrance house, man. So. I'm going to get to you guys' comments real quick before I head out. Um, shout out to my boy, Joel. House of Colossus, Hidden Gems, always showing up. Hey, y'all hey, y'all showed up in these chats, man, as always. But anyways, you guys, it's your boy, 20 Degrees in LA. I'm glad you guys came to rock with me, man. Kick it with me. Tomorrow, we'll, we'll be doing another live unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and, hey, let me go ahead and show you guys, man, or, you know, a little, hey, I ain't going to show you all the box, but. Yes, sir. <laughs> that will be on the way, man. City Rhythm, Miami Chapel Confessions. I will be excited to open this box up for you guys, man, and uh, give you guys my first comments. Until next time, baby. Hope y'all have a good one. Peace.